Hi, welcome to That's So Trishy. I'm Trish, my friends call me Trishy, and this is my YouTube channel. We talk about all things health, beauty, motivational, and navigating the crazy train I call anti-aging, or doing the best we can. Today's video is going to be motivational. Try to motivate you to do some projects while we're all stuck at home in this COVID-19 mess, which is what we're in right now while I'm filming this. But if you're watching this later on in time, hey, it's great for a good old rainy day or a cold winter day as well. So one of the things I want to talk about today is I wanted to have more room for my closet purse display. So I just have kind of a regular walk-in closet, happy and blessed to have that, but my dream and my goal is to have one of those big, beautiful walk-in closets that's the size of a room. Now, one of my favorite influencers, influencers on YouTube, uh, her name is Shay Whitney. I don't know her, I'd like to know her. <laughs> um, I just love her. She talks about um, luxury purses and designer clothes, and but she's like a super totally down-to-earth lady. And so, and she's a little bit goofy and clumsy, I think, like me. So I really like her. So go check out her channel when you get done watching this one. But she has um, what appears to me a, a walk-in closet room that she has all her clothes and purses and shoes displayed. And it seems to also double as her YouTube studio. So, Randy, that's what we need to do next. <laughs> but right now, I don't have any empty rooms. I was an empty nester for two and a half years, and they've all come back. They've come back to the nest. <laughs> Actually, that's a super good thing, and I'm super excited that my two youngest are home um, because of this COVID mess. But I have no room at the inn. No room for purse displays. So what I decided to do is I wanted to take on a project to bring my closet on the outside to my bedroom and make something that was like a beautiful display that I could display my purses on. So I started looking on Pinterest and there's some ideas, but I honestly didn't find anything exactly what I was thinking. So I started um, just scouring the internet, looking at some of my favorite designers, um, Ballard Designs and Pottery Barn. And when I looked to see like how much a wall display would be, it was like $1,000 for one little unit. So that wasn't a possibility. <laughs> so I started looking on Facebook Marketplace and the swap sites, and this was before the COVID mess. And I thought, I think that I could take a dining room hutch and turn it into a really cool pulse, pulse purse display if I found the right, right bones to the um, hutch. So I started screenshotting them and found a bunch that I liked and narrowed it down. And the one I liked was like an old, ugly, wood-looking stained one, but it had the perfect bones and it had mirrors in the back and it had glass and I thought I can take the doors off. So I screenshot it and I sent it to my husband on his phone in the other room <laughs> because please tell me you guys do that. We text each other across the house all the time because we're that lazy, I guess. <laughs> um, but I said, hey, will you take me tomorrow about an hour away to this little town to go get a dining room hutch that I can put in the living room and make a purse display and my husband is so sweet he said sure honey what he always says whatever my bride wants how sweet is that however 15 minutes later he texts me back and said did you say you were putting a dining room hutch in our bedroom <laughs> So I replied back with the angry emoji because I knew he wasn't listening to me. I mean, I guess that's good that he automatically said, yes, honey, I should have asked for like something bigger. But uh, um, anyway, he clearly was not following the, the train of thought with the text message. So needless to say, the next day we were on our way to the little town and we had a, just a fun Saturday driving. So, needless to say, the next day we are on our way to a little town about an hour away and we just made a fun day of it. We stopped at one of those little greasy spoon restaurants. I love those little mom and pop restaurants and we just had a fun time and we went up and met this guy who was selling my hutch on the swap and he turned out to be an auctioneer. And so he had this little bitty dinky um, store that you couldn't even walk through. So we walk in and there's all kinds of stuff and there is my 
oh, in my head. <laughs> and I said, you are not gonna believe what I'm gonna do with this, thinking that I'm gonna like really either impress him or he's going to be like, whatever lady. And he goes, oh, try me. The last person who uh, bought one of these bought it for their hedgehogs. <laughs> and I was like, hedgehogs. <laughs> so they definitely outdid me and evidently they bought a big hedge and made it into like the animal cage. So underneath the bottom they put all the hedgehog supplies and the top the little hedgehogs ran around and I guess they caged it. So it was actually quite clever. So maybe you might want to try that for a at home project too. But today is not about hedgehogs. It's about my purses and my purse display. So we towed it at home, we brought it home, and this is what it looked like when we first saw it. Now get ready, because it's ugly. Here it is. But my sweet husband started helping me. We started taping everything off, and we took out the glass, um, took off the doors, which I left off, and we started preparing it to chalk paint. I am the chalk paint connoisseur. I've been chalk painting before chalk painting was cool. <laughs> Half the things in my house were chalk painted. We chalk painted and had a friend help us the entire kitchen uh, cabinets and they turned out amazing too. But I will tell you my favorite chalk paint, which I think I actually used on this that you're gonna see in a minute is Annie Sloan chalk paint. I'll put some links in the description box to some different chalk paints. But honestly, what I do most of the time is you can make your own chalk paint so easy. There's lots of recipes on the internet, but the easiest is baking soda. Put a little of any kind of paint you have, semi-gloss interior paint in a cup, and just put a little bit of baking soda in there till you get the right consistency. Super easy. And if any of you are chalk painters like myself, you don't have to sand. And you can be a crappy painter like me <laughs> because the first coat always looks really crummy and then the second coat, it all comes together. So let's take a look at my purse display hutch while we're in the middle of it. So we continued on. It took me, I think it took me like eight hours. I actually worked on this hutch painting and it took two coats. When I was done, I just sanded the edges because it had the ugly brown underneath it so I didn't have to wax any distressing. Just sanding it made the perfect distress. So I'm almost ready to reveal to you my purse hutch display. And I just want to encourage you, maybe you have an old hutch laying around the house right now. I feel like maybe a lot of people are not wanting them as much. I still have one in my dining room that I like. But if you have one you haven't known what to do with, here's your, here's your idea for COVID shut-in. Make a purse display, make a shoe display, make whatever it is you collect, but make it new and fresh and I love to repurpose. So without further ado, I'm going to show you my purse hutch display where you can bring your walk-in closet out of the closet. So let's take a look. So here we go, let's take a look at it. I currently have nine of my favorite purses on here. I gotta be honest, one of the things that I did originally that I don't think looked as well is I just stuffed it with all my purses. I was so excited to have it. And then I realized it was too cluttered looking. So I spread them out. I picked some of my favorite ones for spring and summer. And I think it works much better with having three on the bottom, three in the middle, three on the top. And I actually do have a few on the top with some flowers and decorations. Um, but I just love the way it turned out. I added a few of my little blingy girl stuff on here. One of my bracelets, a little flower, just some little blingy things. These actually were, these were actually pins that I put on my shoes. I bought really cheap little plain shoes for my wedding and then I kind of blinged them up and they turned out super cute. And then I made this sign on my Cricut that says, life is short, buy the purse. <laughs> And, oh, I love these. These are really funky, but these are antique pearl earrings I've hardly ever worn, but I love them. So anyway, you can kind of see if I pan up here close, I have distressed part of the bones on my purse display. 
but that is it. So I hope this inspires you guys while you're stuck inside. Do some fun projects. Do something that you love. Make a purse display. Make a shoe display. It's super easy. So I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for joining me on That So Trishy. If you like this video, push like down there or click on the subscribe and you can subscribe and uh, push the notification button and you'll know when I upload videos. I try to upload them once or twice a week. Um, every once in a while I get behind. <laughs> I'll try to get better. But again, I hope you guys have a super blessed day. Thank you so much. And don't forget, life is short. Buy the purse. Thanks for stopping by that. So Trishy. Bye.